guys, it is Chrissy K. I am here with a first impression and demo on the Makeup Shalo Maybelline collaboration. I'm so excited for her. Like, this is such a proud moment for her, such a proud moment for black women. Like, she collaborated with Maybelline and like made her own thing. I feel like that is amazing. Maybelline is like one of the biggest cosmetic companies in the world. Like their drugstore, they're not expensive, but they have more money than most of these brands. Like they are the biggest like you know what i'm saying so that's super awesome speaking of black girl magic fenty beauty came out ruby came out showed out showed up and had her collection launched in sephora um jackie Ina is working with Too faced to create deeper shades for women of color like we are showing up and showing out and i'm loving it i just want to see more of it like i just love to see um, women who are talented get their shine of all color unfortunately it's usually not us so I get really excited to see it but if you like this look and you want to know how I got it you want to know about these products you want to see swatches you want to see how they work keep watching makeup Shayla um, if you're not aware of who she is she is a makeup artist um, now she's more of a blogger but she did a collaboration with Maybelline and that is huge. Not only is she like the first um, influencer to do a collaboration with Maybelline and they are an enormous brand, but she's also a woman of color and that just warms my heart. Her collection includes a little city mini palette. I saw them palettes come out, but I really wasn't moved to go buy one, but then when she made one, I had to do it. It has six shades, so really quickly i'm going to swatch them it's supposed to be from like day to night so this is like a little day area this is like where you spice it up at night or you can just kind of mix and match because for some people honestly oh it's really soft and smooth let me see where these swatches gonna go all right i'm a horrible swatcher so i'll be wanting to make sure that i swatch correctly but this is really exciting Ooh. i love to see people like making moves in you know essentially seeing their dreams come true and this is definitely a dream come true for any blogger so these are the shades right here uh black it's kind of a little struggle What's the packaging on the back really the packaging on the back is really cute it has her face and then if you didn't know what to do with this palette like there's a little eye look there for you um, to give you some inspiration and then she also came out with these big shot mascaras and it's really cute it has like her signature on it and a little eye and this one i got um what shade is this baddest black now they have a very black but this is baddest black and so this is supposed to be even deeper than that one and it's supposed to be like just the blackest mascara you will ever find she also did like a purple and a blue mascara that's not really my thing so I didn't get them, but I did want to support. My goal is to use only this, so hopefully I don't need anything else. It's supposed to be from day to night, so I'm assuming you shouldn't need anything else in this palette to make this work. So I'm gonna dip into this brown shade. This is new for me. I usually don't, I usually use like a different transition shape, so I'm gonna lightly tap this, because this is a lot for me. Yeah, like a, it's a lot. It's really pigmented though. It really showed up, but for me, that's a lot. My transition shades usually are a little deeper. Um, I mean, a little lighter, sorry. I'm just gonna dip into some Amistasia Beverly Hills Camel to help me blend that out. Cause it's just, it's a lot. No, I'm sorry, Caramel, said Camel hell of a start to this eye um if you're going for day i would definitely not use this brown because it's like it is out here start with this gold right here and i'll put it in the inside Ooh, very pigmented now i'm gonna dig into this purple drag it out. I'm going to take my finger and just kind of rub them together. I'm going to add another layer to make this purple really pop. Then I'm going to take my blending brush and it's going to kind of go in. I'm going to take this really gold gold 
and I'm going to put it in my inner corners and bring that down to the bottom. Um, I'm going to use this black to see if it's black enough to be my eyeliner. I'm just going to stamp across. I don't want to wing or anything dramatic and because I'm using this mascara, like I just need a little sultry something. It's black, but I've had blacker mascaras. Like it kind of went on a little black, blacker because I had a little bit of Anastasia Beverly Hills Nor left over. But Nor, it is like the blackest black is black ever. It's actually a color that another makeup artist created with her for her palette um, to dress your face. This black is cool, I guess, because I don't need it to be too black. But it's not as black as I thought it would be, and like because she went so black on her mascara i thought maybe she would have went a little blacker on this eyeshadow and so i'm gonna take this light shade through here as my highlight shade i haven't highlighted my brow forever like now i just use my concealer and like that is my highlight rub it and then just kind of rub it in with my finger for so right underneath my eyes i'm just gonna take my eyeliner and align the inside and then bring it down a little bit so that there's some black there it's a little bit of um black left over on my brush and I'm going to dip into this brown right here and I'm going to put it underneath the black so that it's not so harsh. I'm just going to stamp it. Before I apply this mascara, I'm going to curl these lashes right quick. Now we're going to get into this mascara. This mascara, I guess a, re a way that her and this mascara collab came along was because they launched it and she just really 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 loved it and so they let her create her own but she loved it because it was so awesome for a drugstore mascara so we will see well I will say it's a lot on here like in one dip I was able to coat both lashes and my bottom lashes and I will say with this applicator I'm getting a really good grip on my bottom lashes and like in, in one coat it actually looks really good but of course you know I need another one you gotta nobody wears just one coat like I usually wear two to three but this might be a two coater mascara Okay, you know what, what I will say is like that black um, eyeshadow, if I would have put on the other one, on this like this, it probably would have overpowered my look because it was so dark and so black. But this just kind of created like a smoky effect and so it's just like, it blends right in. It's, and I feel like it is really black. I feel like with this look right now, it just draws you into my eyes. Even though I'm not wearing lashes because once you start wearing lashes, like, it's so hard to not wear lashes and feel like your look looks complete, but I feel like my look looks complete even though I don't have um, any freaking, what am I trying to say, eyelashes on. But speaking of completing a look, I am going to complete my look. Okay guys, so I can say that I honestly like both the mascara and the, um, the eyeshadow. Like as I'm looking at myself now and that my look is fully complete, I feel like I have everything I need. Normally at this point in my makeup, like when I be trying to have like a no lash day, I start tripping out like, do I need some lashes? Like I feel like I look incomplete, but I don't feel incomplete. I feel like the pigment was just enough and I feel like the black wasn't as pigmented as I like my blacks to be, but I feel like it's just enough for um, what, what I'm doing with it right now. And I also feel like, you know what? I didn't try it in the corner. Let me just smoke out the size real quick just to see what it does for that um, and it comes through and shows up if you want to smoke it out a little bit yeah it, it came all the way through on this side all the way like all the way through so it's definitely pigmented it's just not as dark as I would like and it, it blends out easily I think that black just took me up another notch but you know it's it's good 
Um, I think that she did a good job with her um, collaboration. I feel like the formula is really good and I, I love that everything is affordable. Everything is under $10. Um, however, it's supposed to be um, online right now, Ulta and Maybelline, and it is online at Ulta Maybelline, but if you want to get it in stores right now, I literally, I can't find it anywhere and I even try to search online. So I had to Amazon it, so I paid a little bit more for the product. Than you would normally but um i'll leave the link below if you guys want to amazon it and get it if you can't find it um just because i'm an amazon prime member and i didn't see that feel the need to pay the shipping on ulta and they ship really slow that's just my personal thing but um that is all i have for you guys i'm really satisfied with this collection i'm excited about all this black girl magic that is happening as of late in the makeup industry i needed to keep going that is all i have for you guys Thank you so much for watching. If you're not subscribed already, hit that subscribe button. If you are subscribed already, hit that notification bell so that you can um, know when I post new videos. I post new videos for you guys every week. And then if you're new and this is your first time watching my channel, stick around. We got some videos that's going to be up here for you guys to check out. So just check me out. And if you like your girl, make sure you join this Chrissy K fam. Until then, you guys, I love you guys so much. And I will see you in my next video. Mwah!